Hey Cougs, welcome back to another episode of In the Game. I'm Jamaica Coronado here at the Fertitta Center where the Houston Cougars will be taking on University of South Florida. The Cougs are coming off of an impressive road win against Cincinnati on Sunday. UH has reclaimed the number one ranking in college basketball with Marcus Sasser and Jarris Walker leading the way. But the Cougs will be without Jarris Walker for tonight's matchup against the South Florida Bulls. The shorthanded Cougs will play their third game in six days. Ramon Walker Jr. and Darius Bowser are both listed as out for tonight's game. All right, so describe the experience as a student being here for Tita Center uh, for the basketball game. It's an amazing experience, like just like being around, like hearing the crowd go crazy. Describe the fit for me. I like the fit. Tell me what's going on. Um, I love I love Houston Cougars. I love the UA University of Houston itself, and I always got I'm always like going out there supporting the Cougars. Guard Marcus Sasser got off to a strong start in the first half by scoring six points and four assists. USF kept it competitive in the first half with senior guard Tyler Harris scoring 13 points. Things got a little chippy between Houston forward Reggie Chaney and seven foot center Russell Tachua. USF attempted to take the lead, but guard Emmanuel Sharp would hit a big three right before the half. The Cougs led 37 to 36 in the first. In the second half, the Cougars couldn't seem to put South Florida away. USF guard Tyler Harris gained the lead for the Bulls by scoring 18 points in the second half and finishing with 31 points, which is the most in his career. Although it was a heroic effort by Harris, Houston guard Marcus Sasser would hit a big three to put the nail in the coffin for the Cougars. Sasser also scored a career high 31 points and finished with four assists. The Houston Cougars would go on to win 83 to 77. The Cougs will look to continue their win streak in the conference as they travel to Louisiana to take on Tulane next Tuesday. Thanks for watching another episode of In the Game. Here from Fertitta Center, I'm Jermichael Coronado, and we'll see you next time.